Hi guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the basics of SketchUp. Today we're going to look at what is a lot of SketchUp users' favorite command, push-pull. This is the command that lets us take 2D shapes and pull them, or push them, into 3D space. Uh, there's a lot to this. There's stuff that push-pull does that people don't know about, so everybody's going to need to limber up. We're going to cover a lot in this video. Let's hop in. First things first, how do we get into push-pull? It is on the toolbar, the main toolbar up here at the top, you can see right here, this is the push-pull icon. Uh, it is also in the large tool set if you go to view tool palettes on Mac, toolbars on Windows, and turn on the large tool set, right here we have the push-pull command. There is also a default key for this, so the shortcut key for it by default is P. If you tap P, it will bring up push-pull. Um, so once we're in push pull, I have a couple shapes here on the ground. I have a square, circle, and rectangle. If I hover over one of these shapes, you'll see they do highlight in blue like that. If while it's highlighted, I click and release my mouse, this is again the way I want to do it. I want to click and release, and then I move my mouse to where I want to push pull, and then I click and release again. I have just push pulled. So that is the default method for doing it. You click on the command first, and then you move over the space, the, the shape that you want to push pull. There is another option. If I go back to select, I can pre-select. I can actually click on this surface first, then hit push pull. You can see it's already highlighted, and now I just have to tell where I want to pull from and where I want to pull to. Now last time I just kind of arbitrarily picked a spot, but I can use inferencing to just mouse over a space. That, so if I want this to be the exact same height as this one over here, I can just move over that and click and it'll go to the same spot. Um, there are certain situations, like if you're using a tablet or something like that, that pre-select is not an ideal solution. So if you go to preferences, preferences is under SketchUp, the SketchUp menu on Mac, it is under the Windows menu on Windows. If I go to preferences and I go to drawing, I do have the option to disable pre-pick on the push-pull tool. If that is turned on and you have a surface selected when you hit push pull it will turn it off and you'll have to go pick it again like I said there's certain interfaces that that benefits where it's not ideal to have pre-select available all right so we arbitrarily pulled this one up we use inferencing to pull this to the same height the other option of course is to click and release start moving in a specific direction then type in an exact dimension so if I type six foot and hit enter this push pulls to exactly six feet now, you can see here as I'm mousing over these other shapes, I can actually click and drag any of these shapes I want. Uh, hitting escape while you're in the middle of a push-pull will put that surface back where it was. And if I come in with a line, I'm just going to grab a line and I'm just going to draw it on this surface. I'm just going to click a point on this edge or click a point on this edge. I can use push-pull again to grab that surface and pull it. So if a surface is broken by a line that creates two separate surfaces, that's two separate surfaces to push-pull. You'll notice when I mouse over the curved part of this extruded circle, this cylinder, it gives me the no, the anti-symbol. You cannot push-pull. Push-pull can only be used on a single face at a time. Round surfaces are made up of a series of surfaces that are all smoothed together and can't be push-pulled. All right, next thing to look at is, I have another example over here. This is a common use of push-pull, of course, is to put things like holes in walls or in surfaces. So all I have here is I have this extruded rectangle, we'll call it a wall, and then I drew a rectangle on top of it. And see that rectangle does not go through, it's just on the face. So if I was to come with push-pull and hover over here and click and release, I have the option of pulling it out this way, or I can pull it back this way. Now, I'm gonna spin around, see, this is the cool thing, I click and release, so it's attaching my mouse. As long as I don't hit that left mouse button again, I will keep doing this. So it means it's real easy to use the scroll wheel to zoom and move change as I'm doing this while still in this command. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hover over the back. So what this is doing is it's push pulling from the front side to the back side. When I click on the black back side, look what happens. It punches a hole. Anytime I use push pull to take one face and go completely coplanar with another face, it will delete that face. So if I want to push pull something through a window like a window through a, a wall like that, all I have to do is go from the front to the back. This also works with faces on their own. So if I was to click the, the front of this wall and pull it all the way back till it snapped to the back wall, when I click, everything goes away. 
because I push pulled one face into another and those are completely coplanar so they cancel each other out they're all gone all right two more things to look at and like I said I know we're covering a lot but there's so much to push pull and it's such an awesome command all right so I'm gonna grab this one click release pull it up click and release now let's say I want each of these to be the same this is cool as long as I don't go into another command if I mouse over a surface and double click it's gonna pull it up the exact same height double click double click and I can stack that too so if I, if I double click here it push pulled that the same distance as the first push pull so if I double click here it pushed it down the same amount and it disappeared because again I pulled the front face to the back face so double click will repeat the exact length of the push pull of the previous push pull so one last thing I want to look at here if I come in with push pull and I grab right here and I start pulling it up you see I'm just grabbing that face and stretching it I do have one modifier key if you look down at the bottom again the status bar here will tell you if you have modifier keys this is option on Mac control on Windows if I hold down that modifier key look how my cursor changes see how I get that little plus so every time I tap the option key it toggles that plus on and off if that plus is there when I click and start moving look at that see that line it left down there it actually left I'm gonna go in and select and delete these two front faces delete here delete here and look what it left inside it actually left that face here and created a brand new face pulling up so if I undo two times and put that back that's what I got there so again if I go to push pull and I grab a surface and pull it it's gonna always create that that or just pull the existing surface like that if I click tap on option or control one time now it's not just push pulling it's actually creating a brand new surface and this you can see this bottom section is split because it left that original surface inside of that original cube that we had created there yeah I think that's all the things I could think of I'm sorry I know that was a lot but I tried to keep these videos fairly short like under 10 minutes and there was just so many things to look at with push pull I may have forgotten something if, if, if I forgot to step something that you use push pull for please let me know down in the comments um, if you like that video if that helped you at all any way shape or form please hit like that way we know we're doing a good job and if you haven't already please subscribe we create several videos every week and you'll be notified of each and every one if you subscribe most importantly though like I said before please leave us a comment let us know if we're on the right track, if these videos are helping you, or like I said, if I missed something, or if there's something specific you'd like to see. Not just a square one, but anything about SketchUp that you have a question about, let us know in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.